Hello there, my name's Lee Dart, I'm the physiotherapist for Henshaw's College. You join me today outside in Ribble Garden in Henshaw's College. It's a really blowy day today, it's a really windy day, um, so there might be a bit of extra noise, so apologies for that. Anyway, we'll get started. We're going to do a bit of Tai Chi and uh, I want you to join in with me if you feel like you can. In order to get warmed up and ready, we do something called brush pat tap. For that, we brush down the arm and up the arm to start off with. Nice firm strokes, down the arm, up the arm. Getting the arms ready for some activity. And then we move across to the other side. Down the arm, up the arm. So if you've not done Tai Chi before, or these kind of movements before, make sure that you're doing them for yourself, that they're your size. So they may be nice and light or small, but we'd be gentle to ourselves. Coming across to the other side and we're patting. If you're having these done for you, then again, keep talking to the person that you're working with, make sure they know you really well, and make sure that this is the right kind of pressure for you. Tai Chi is a really safe exercise to do, in particular if we listen to our body. So no pain, we're not going against any big resistances, we're not trying to achieve anything brand new today, just waking that body up and get it moving. If you do get any pains or problems, I want you to stop, I want you to just go find some help with the GP for example and make sure these exercises are okay. If you've got any questions or concerns before you start, then just watch today and then uh, ask your physio or your doctor whether these exercises are okay for you. But as I said, they are safe. For most people, if we take it nice and steady and be gentle to ourselves. Okay, that's our warm up done. First exercise, we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna put them up, we're gonna part them clouds, lots of clouds today, and round in a circle. Coming up, out, and round in a circle. So my arms are pretty loose today, they're moving okay. Maybe yours are feeling tighter, so your version of this exercise might be here, and that's fine too. Tai Chi is not about bigger is better, but instead how well we are connected to our body. So coming up, out to the sides, and round in a circle. Coming up. Out to the sides, round in a circle. One more, coming up. Out to the sides, round in a circle. Lovely. So if you do these exercises in standing like me, you want to be thinking about feet, shoulder width apart. You want your knees slightly bent and a, a nice straight posture. If you're in sitting, again, thinking about sitting up tall, and if you're in lying, if you can lie as straight as you're, you're able to, that helps too. Next exercise, we're gonna come up, and this time we're gonna go out, back in, and then down. So we're drawing a giant letter T shape. In and down. Coming up, coming out, in and down. Superb, and again. in and down and if you're being fancy about it have a look at my hands and they're moving in the opposite direction to the direction of my arms as my arms come up my hands are down and then my hands are in hands are pointing out as my arms come in and then my hands are pointing up as my hands come down they're always going in the opposite direction it's very classic of tai chi yin yang that black and white. The 
lovely last one and down next exercise we're going to take the hands we're going to come up the body this time but then towards the screen and round in a circle coming up and towards the screen round in a circle keep doing that i'm going to change my position so up and then we're coming up out and round in a circle and the point of this exercise is to get them shoulders moving you can see there's a circle that's being drawn with my shoulder as i come up out round in a circle turn to face you again coming up out round in a circle well done everyone remember no pain on these activities and no big resistances just nice flowing movements and then through repetition then movements might be allowed to get bigger that can take time so don't rush it coming up round in a circle super okay the next one is a twisting exercise and i've heard people say well we mustn't twist our backs our backs do turn but we shouldn't twist our backs when we're carrying things that's the important part but again, our mind goes to our spines on this one. I want you to feel how your spine is turning and turn as far as you're comfortable. This time our hands come up, we turn and we push. Our hands come back in, turn and push. On this one, if you are in standing, try and keep your hips facing forwards. That stops us twisting our knees. All the wind's picking up now. <laughs> see all the beads that have been made in the background blowing about and the uh, chimes chinkling away it's a wild day today thankfully tai chi also gets us moving throughout the body and it can help keep our temperature nice and level so believe it or not i feel fine <laughs> i'm not cold Getting everything moving really helps keep our body at that steady temperature. Lovely, coming down and round. So a lot of people think that Tai Chi is all about relaxing. And for some people, that's maybe what they need. But actually, it's about trying to become balanced again. If you're feeling tired, this might wake you up. But if you're feeling tense, this might relax you. It's about bringing balance back. Super. Okay, next exercise. Get a little bit more tricky now as we're gonna do opposite movements. First one, we're gonna bring one hand up as the other hand comes down. Turn the hands over, come back the way you came. Coming apart, one hand up, one hand down, going back to the center. Moving through, one hand up, one hand down, turning over, back to the center. Keep that going. Big movement, small movement. But remember, it's for you, your size of movement. So it could be this, it could be as small as that. It's still the same exercise. That's the wonderful thing with Tai Chi. Doesn't matter if you're lying or sitting or standing, whether your arms feel loose or they feel super tight, you can make the ex exercise right for you and it's still just as meaningful. Lovely. Coming apart and together. Apart and together. We're going to do one more. Apart together on either side apart and together super your next exercise we're going to put one hand on top of the other this is probably one of the most tricky in terms of the coordination involved we're going to go apart in a diagonal motion and then we're going to come together so we stay high and low and then come down the midline to hold a ball again we can imagine a ball here and then we're going to go apart in the other direction spiraling out high and low back to center 
So we go diagonal to your midline and then center, diagonal to your midline and center. The midline would be that imaginary line that we could draw down your body like that through the midline. Diagonal, midline, center. Diagonal, midline, center. One more each side. Diagonal, midline, center. Diagonal, midline, center. Excellent. Couple more exercises to go. This one's my favorite. We come across the body, pull the arm back, and our arm extends. I'll lean this way to get into shunt. Our arm extends out. And then we go the other side, pull back, and out to the side. What sport does that remind us of, I reckon? We come across, stretching out, and across, lovely. Pop it in the comments below. What sport does that look like to you as we come across? Extra clue, we release. And come across and release. What could that be? Excellent. So we're going to try and do these exercises each week, weather permitting. I'll come out in most things unless it's raining sideways and we might have to delay a video. But I'll try and come out each week. And if you write anything in the comments, questions or answers to, for example, what sport does that look like? Then I'll endeavor to try and answer that in the next video. Superb, one more stretching out. Again, to your size, it could be here. That'll be fine too, it could be there. So stretching out for yourself and relax. Super. Final exercise. Most of our students' favorite one, this one, is we take our hands up towards the sky and then we go through our midline pushing down. We gather everything up that we've made and we keep it for ourselves. And another thing to think about is as we come up and over, we're scanning through the body, being mindful of our head and neck, our shoulders, chest and tummy. Coming round, being mindful of our head, neck, shoulders, chest and tummy. We're just checking into them parts of our bodies, seeing how they feel, letting our hands wash over them. Superb, coming round, sinking down. A couple more, coming up. And through, last one, coming up and through. In our Tai Chi exercises at college, we like to finish the way we started with the same warm up. We move back to brush, perhaps the tap, brushing down the inside, up the outside. So they were all the exercises that I wanted to cover today. I hope you enjoyed them. Maybe think about which one was your favorite. I'd love to hear that in the comments below. Was there any ones that you found tricky? Again, let me know that too. And we'll see how you progress over the next few exercises. Coming across the body, down. Sorry, next few videos that is. Coming down the body and back up. Down and back up. Moving on, just patting a cupped hand. Pat, 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 pat. You should be able to hear it. You should, you should be able to feel that, but it not to be painful. Excellent. And then coming up and across to the upper arm. 
Let my voice go then, there is a pattern. Coming up and across. Nice, down the arm and up the arm. Final one with the fingertips. We're going tap, 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 as if we're playing all the keys on a piano. There we go. Coming down the arm. Now back up. Down the arm. And back up. Cross to the other side. Last bit now, guys. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you made it this far through the video, well done. Thank you for getting involved and joining in. Whether you just watched and wanted to see what it was all about, that's great. Uh, if you want to check with your physio or your doctor whether this is perfect for you, then feel free to do so. I would encourage that. If you've done it before or you're sure or you've already checked, then uh, you can join us next time and we'll be doing these exercises again and I'll take you through each one of them. As I say, make sure you leave comments below if you've got any questions or comments or things that you want to share. Magic. Lovely. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you next time.